welcome welcome people to another queued up production and today i would like to say happy new years to everyone may you all prosper in the new year today we are going to work with native instruments form i've had this uh, synth for quite a while didn't really get into it to figure out how to uh, maneuver with it but in the last few days i've actually had a chance to get in and get deeper into it so um, here is what I have to start with. One of the first things that you have to recognize with this is that a lot of these things are, are this is all sample based. So you can bring your own sample in or you can actually form a simple synth simply from uh, from here with just the oscillator and some effects and things over here. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But first off is uh, your, your sample. So I just recorded a little sample before I started uh, you know, doing this tutorial. And this is the sample that I chose. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year's, everyone. Something simple just to get in and uh, get some things going. So once you get your sample in, and that's another thing, in order to get your sample into this section here, the only way I've figured out how to do it is to actually bring up a sample list somewhere or open up a folder and have it sitting off to the side and then physically drag it into here. And then you can move these bars um, you know, around or individually you know to to get your sample where you want to have it at okay so we go ahead and load that sample so this is what it would sound like happy new year happy new year's everybody happy new year. happy new year. happy new year. happy happy new year. okay so the first thing that i have learned to do is that if you have something and you want to make it into uh, a, a normal instrument that's, that's playable with chords and keys and things like that is to come over to this section here and actually flatten the pitch. So if I hit that, happy new year, happy new year, happy new, happy new, happy new, happy new. Then it's it's kind of scaling happy it a little new, bit happy, better. Happy okay, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. The next thing is to go in and actually change the speed, the actual speed of the sample. So I'm gonna go over here to this section here, and I can also go in and choose the sections that I want if I want something different. But I'm going to come over here. I want to put this on the same BPM, which our BPM is 120 currently. And I'm going to slow it down to, let's see. Happy New Year. Happy New Happy. Okay, let's go with Happy one New quarter. Year. Happy, Happy. Happy. Okay, I think I like that better. Okay, then you got to decide if you want it to go forward, backwards, you know, what, what duration you want it to go. So I want it to go legato i'm gonna put this in free and i want this to go back and forth now i think i put it on retrigger but i still want it to loop and yeah we want it to go backwards and forwards happy new year's everyone no me as a uni happy new year's everyone okay so that's that's actually a little bit long so we could kind of bring that in a little bit more happy new year's a uni Speed that up just a tad bit. Happy New Year's, hey, you and you, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's, hey, you and you, Happy New Year. Okay, so now we got that section. And let's go back into the actual sound now. Now this is where things can get a little bit interesting. So I can do a few things. I can come here, and even though I've changed this, this curve uh, to make it re-trigger, and then I want it to go backwards and forth. There's still some other things I can do. There's some other presets and things in here of curves that I can use. So we're going to choose, let's choose that one. That one looks interesting. Okay, well, maybe not so drastic. Okay, we'll leave that one. Now that we've got the motion part that we like, um, now let's go in and add some other elements. Uh, this is the part where form gets very interesting. You can actually take an oscillator and blend it in with your um, your normal sample that you have. So we're going to go in here and we're going to turn the volume up just a little bit. Happy New Happy New Happy New Happy New Year's So it's kind of adding that sub bass to it and of course as you turn this this is going to change what that value is happy new, happy new year happy new happy, 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 happy new year happy, happy new 
Okay, so we'll leave that. You can also change the octave of that oscillator. Let's say we wanted to pitch it up. Okay, and right now we're in um, polyphonic, which means that I can play more than one key at the same time. If I were to you know, change this to mono retrigger, then I can't play chords. I can only play it like a lead. Okay, so we're going to leave it in poly for right now. Okay, so we're going to work our way from left to right. So now we come to the middle section. Uh, the oscillator effects are pretty interesting, so I'll let you hear what some of these uh, sound like as I click on them and then change some values, and then we'll actually come back and uh, set something in stone. So that's what we got for that section. We're going to move over to the modulation section. Now you have two envelopes, two LFOs, and a side chain. Today we're just going to work with, uh, we'll do one envelope and one LFO. And we'll see what we can create with that. So if you notice, this would be just like the amp envelope on, say, uh, Massive or really any other synth for that matter. So the same thing we would do to kind of sculpt the sound with that. You can do it here. You can give it a fast attack or you can give it a really slow attack. And remember, we have this on loop, so it'll just kind of fade in and then do its own thing. But we don't want to do that. We'll just give it a little soft hit there. Um, okay, and we'll add a little bit more release to it. Okay, and then let's go to the LFO. Now, even though it only shows um, four types of actual waveforms you can actually manipulate these over here with this this shaper here so you can bring this one you can fold it back go forward whatever you want you can actually take it out of phase uh, we're gonna play with that here in a little bit but let's go with um, let's go with this we're gonna change the shape a little bit just to give us something different so we have one envelope, one LFO. I want to cheat here. Then for our filter section, same standard, you know, uh, players, low pass, high pass, notch. Uh, I like uh, low pass myself. Uh, bring it down a little bit, maybe give it a little bit of resonance. You don't need to try to measure it or anything like that. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, there's only one problem with that. It's still recognizable. And what we're trying to do is get something something totally different. You can take this modulation section and really manipulate almost anything on this entire um, instrument. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're not going to play with the pitch because the, the pitch is, you know, we want to make sure that we can add it and, and use it as a bed for other instruments and things like that. So we're going to come over here to this waveform first. And everything that you click on, if you click on that bottom section, if it's able to be manipulated, it's going to have those three boxes. Just go on one of those boxes and then you choose whatever source that you want to use. So let's say we want to use envelope two here. We click that, and then um, once it comes down here inside of the box, you move this either left or right, up or down, so that you can change the value of it, and it'll change over time. So if we leave that at zero, 
And then we change that. You see where that's changing. It's doing it according to this waveform. So if I were to take this waveform and make it a little bit more lazy, then it's going to move slower. Okay, so not quite what we're looking for yet. But we can take this LFO that we used, come over here, and now let's add this LFO and see what we get there. And then we can change this over here, BPM. Let's change it to, and you can see the speed by how this is moving over here. Okay, so now let's play with the phase. Let's take the phase. Let's use envelope one. Mm, let's use envelope two. And then that'll change over time if you look in that little section right there. Okay. So now I'm just going to go in and kind of do some things and see what sound we come up with. And you can come over here to the effects section. In any effects section, the same rules apply. Anything that you are able to click beneath, you can change it. Uh, these are your actual filters that would be kind of like a, almost like a band pass. And you can move these around. But now the great thing about it is you can actually change the width over time if you see these moving over here and this is just me doing this with my mouse so as you would probably gather you can take these bands and actually have these modified um, by the LFOs by the envelopes um, whatever the you know you decide to route it and the more you get in and just kind of play with it the more you know things you come up with Okay, let's put this in mono trigger. And that's all just playing one note over and over again. It's just giving me a lot of different changes to it. Gotta throw some delay on it. And then dynamics, that would be uh, basically your compressor, reverb, you got a small, large, space, cheap, and then unreal. Mm, that sound kind of Middle Eastern. point of this video is just to kind of show you that there's some other synths and instruments out there that you can use in 2018 let's try doing something different let's let's get some new sounds out there some use some instruments that people aren't really using and you know I understand that you have the usual suspects out there I don't want to get into any names but you know in order to form a different sound you got to use different instruments or use them in a different way uh, add some effects to them in 2018 make yourself stand out I've done quite a few videos on chords I've done videos on using your MIDI files and be able to, being able to go back in and use those over again take advantage of all those look in the description and get to some of those videos as well make sure you like and subscribe it's always great hopping on here and showing something new and different drop a comment below let me know if this is something that you you know you may want to try to use in 2018 if you want to see a different tutorial with something different that we can use i have quite a few synths that i like to use uh, as and i try to step outside the box and i'm trying to do that as well for 2018 so that's my time just uh make sure you like subscribe do something new for 2018 
And most of all, stay queued up. Peace.